Well, people heard a lot about ARV7 a few years back. Uh, in metastatic hormone-sensitive prostate cancer, unfortunately, ARV7 is really not very prevalent at all, so that won't really help us. We are trying to get at uh, whether there are subtypes of patients who should get chemotherapy or subsets of patients who should get AR-targeted therapies. Uh, we know, for example, that biologically there's more RB loss and P10 loss as well as P53 loss, these important tumor suppressors in the more aggressive types of prostate cancer. And preclinical modeling as well as human uh, uh, genomic uh, assessments are really showing this to be true. That said, we still don't have any good evidence that one group of patients with these genetic alteration should get chemotherapy or androgen targeted therapy compared to the other. So we're moving to the space where biomark biomarkers will be important, but we're not quite there yet to help us uh, in treating an individual patient that they should receive uh, drug X or drug Y.